another day, another city. We left Cebu and headed into Brasov this morning. And so we'll do kind of what's become the regular now, do a little walking tour, have some explore time. The things that I'm looking forward to in Brasov is that they have like a Hollywood sign that says their name, it says Brasov. And you can take a gondola up to it and then kind of hike to it and heard that it's great views. And so definitely looking forward to that. And there's also a church that it's pretty well known for that we get entrance to just like through EF Ultimate Breaks. And so, like I said, another day, another city. The one night in each hotel is getting a little exhausting, but it does kind of just feel like a sprint. <laughs> Good gelato would be right here. Honestly, that sounds kind of like some mountaintop gelato. If no one's made it yet, like I'll, that's a good bit. That's what I could do when I move here. Is open up a, a mountaintop gelato. Oh. Can we have to do some photos here?
brush off was good i think i'm starting to get just like more exhausted overall and so <laughs> i keep forgetting to take more clips but in brush off we basically just had time to kind of shop around like got some food got some gelato walked around a lot i think it's kind of funny how despite having similar itineraries each day just like based on the different car rides and the different plans throughout the day we kind of have more and less time in each city so i felt like timishwara was very rushed cebu we had like a good amount of time on and then brush off we had a whole lot of free time in which was okay but did just kind of end up meaning that we kind of sat in the square just for a little bit which is fine you know like just sitting around this was my first encounter with um a man <laughs> in europe whenever a friend and i were sitting in the brush off square a man walked up to me got very close and started speaking really fast in romanian and so i just looked at him and i was like i don't understand you and he was like oh no worries i speak english very good too so i was like oh great <laughs> love that um and he started his whole big speech again about how if the beauty on the inside matches the beauty on the outside blah 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 and looking back you know when you come up with a really good comeback but way too late looking back i wish i just had been it doesn't beauty ends at the outside like cold-hearted inside just wish i had that reaction to him but instead i was like and he talked for probably about like a minute and a half and i just still was looking at him like and then he said but you probably have a boyfriend don't you and i said yeah and he said so you're probably not going to move to romania with me and i was like no i will not and then he was like well it's good to meet you and reached out his hand and so me being an american forgetting that different countries have different norms like just reached out my hand i was like i'll just shake his hand he'll turn around he'll walk away no he took my hand and put a big smooch on it and so i bathed myself in hand sanitizer and that honestly was the first like kind of unpleasant interaction that i think i've had on this trip and it was one of those things where like he wasn't trying to be rude but also like don't approach women when you're just like sitting you know having your own time so that was Rajov, but we had another included dinner that night and so the dinner was at a restaurant and it was good i don't think i got a single picture <laughs> or video of the food but the portions were absolutely ginormous like such big portions and it was really good but such big portions and tomorrow we actually are heading technically into bucharest like it's our travel day into bucharest but we have three different stops on the way there number one and most importantly being braun castle which is dracula's castle so dracula was not a real character but he was based off of a real king named vlad the impaler and so this was vlad the impaler's castle and just like the romanian monarchy so braun castle looking forward to seeing all of that and then we have two more stops one i think is like just a good view and then one is the palish castle and so it's kind of like a cinderella castle and so we're stopping at those having lunch and then we head into bucharest <laughs> I can't even walk through this door, guys. <laughs> even myself, I was in the Middle Ages very tall. <laughs>
These are the yellow. Yellow and green language is the plural of sheep. It's the feminine of those. And uh, the, they were young women who died without being married. So on the night they are dancing in the brains in the forest looking for a husband. The person that meets them remained crippled or insane. And here are the horses of St. Theodore. St. Theodore is a folk uh, holiday in the spring. When he is uh, his day, is forbidden to those who are working. Children under 14? This is where we get sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Does this go to the town? Go. Ah, sir. Who's in here? Oh, maybe nothing. There, on the left now, we can see a list of. Uh, Movies with Dracula and vampires. courtyard. I was like, oh, pretty flowers. Like, I get to the tunnels part of it. Yeah, where's your phone? Are you going by the trash can? No. <laughs> I'm just putting my nose on. 
<laughs> just duck into the shadow. Um. Yeah, we can try that. What if you be there? I'm gonna come from like this angle. I'll be by the trash can. Okay. Oh yeah, no, this is good. This day, I think, is like what I expected of the tour, like just the castles in medieval Europe and obviously like Dracula's castle, Transylvania. And so it was so super busy and so super exhausting, but it was just really cool. And so the next few days will be spent in Bucharest. And I actually stopped vlogging at this point in the trip just because, like I said, like it was so exhausting. I feel like this was a really good length of time for me where anything more than this at this activity level, I would have just like totally burnt out. I feel Feel like kind of the group as a whole just sort of flailed themselves towards the finish line so I did not take any footage any footage in Bucharest but it looked a lot like the previous days had looked where we got a good tour got to hang out we just sat and had lunch and I got more souvenirs and it was a really good end to the trip I feel like it's an anticlimactic little end to this YouTube <laughs> series by the fact that I went to Bucharest and just didn't film it but last time I'll say this EF ultimate breaks remember my link and my code if you want hundred dollars off and that stacks on top of any sale that they may be having at the time so if you have any questions about deeper about the trip or the process or booking or the itinerary or the tour director any of that feel free to reach out to me because overall I had such a super positive experience there wasn't a single thing that I would change about this trip and the way it was I really love getting to travel without having to plan the itinerary myself I could just be told like okay show up in the lobby at 8 30 a.m i would show up in the lobby and my whole beautiful perfect day was planned out for me it was incredible so i do look forward to when i travel again obviously we'll be heading back into regular life now but i hope you enjoyed these travel vlogs from me i know i'll enjoy looking back on them whenever you know real life hits and i want to remember the <laughs> remember the 12 days in eastern europe looking at castles see you back back on the other side of the world back in north america see you next time